Hey guys, Frosty Kyogre here with a little bit of a siege. I've been messing around and um, I hadn't used gears much, so I decided to try and do something with gears. And I thought, hey, I can make a differential. Now, a differential is used in cars to uh, distribute the power uh, depending on the amount of traction the wheels have. It's not the best system, but it was pretty, uh, pretty revolutionary when it was invented, blah blah blah. So let's just see what I have here. Now, uh, originally I started with a powertrain coming from uh, this this gear here, but um, it kind of got a little bit out of hand with the number of gears and it caused just issues. So, essentially, the uh, draw uh, this gear gets driven, and it turns this center column here, and that center column is directly attached to this gear here. Now, when there's equal traction, both of the two gears it's attached to, this is these are called the sun gears, will turn at the same rate. But when one has some resistance, okay, so I'll just do that, see, it's turn at the same rate. But if one has resistance, then the up, then it will get stopped uh, slower and the other one will double uh, speed up. So here you can see when one stops the other one's going double the speed. So essentially that's a little, just a little quick crash course on differential gears. Um, so I had just a little bit of trouble trying to figure out how to transfer it to a powertrain um, or transfer the power from the diff gear to individual wheels. Uh, unfortunately I like the the standard wheels are the same height as the uh, gears or even shorter so they don't really help along the same axle and the big gears I wasn't happy with how to use them so this is my first uh, version uh, we'll just take a quick look at my second version here where I was testing things now see these uh, big wheels here aren't actually powered while they do technically, uh, while big wheels do technically turn, I have them power of zero, and they're on a swivel uh, joint, so they don't actually impart any power to the system. So, as we can see here, it doesn't really make it up slopes, though, unfortunately. But, it does drive. The gearing system works and it's not the best example of how to use it so yeah this is more con uh, continuing just the proof of concept that I could do this so after that I went on and tried something else so instead of mounting the di uh, differential gear horizontally this time because uh, it, it's so long I mounted it uh, with the length of the vehicle uh, then I played around with gearing trying to get the uh, power to go to two wheels that are on the same axial, axial line. Right? I don't want them offset or anything. And then I just have a kind of beefy front end. So the Jeep's pretty cool. It drives. And then here you should be able to see some slippage. Yeah, see, so when one slips, yeah. Unfortunately, Besiege's gears aren't exactly perfect, so they always uh, bounce around and slip. One thing I uh, it might help to show this off is if I move it up into the sky whee, and then we'll give it a quick slowdown um, 15% and then let it go. So here you can see the whole thing working the large amount of numbers of gears was used so I could get them to the axle and as well as they have to both be turning the same way so it uh, has to be I believe this size has to have an even number of or odd number of gears and this side has to have an even or are they both the same odd odd okay they both have to be either both odd or both even and that's coming off of these planet or these uh, power uh, power gears which are coming off of the sun, which are driven by the sun gears. So that's that. Now, 
I have one more thing to show you. It's pretty cool, but kind of crazy. Um, these last two really have to be used in invincible mode, otherwise you start having issues. So this one looks kind of derpy. Uh, I call it a Unimog since it's what it reminds me the most of. <laughs> kind of like a Dakar rally truck. Anyways, so I'm going to do the same thing here and raise it up. And then we can take a look at how this thing controls. So, besides the standard go forward, it has two individual power gears. One here, and one here. Now, those two gears are actually um, set different speeds. So this one here is one times rotation speed, and this, this, this one here is two times rotation speed. So, what I essentially, ha uh, essentially have is a two-speed uh, vehicle with a differential, um, dr uh, with a differential um, rear axle. So, if we play here, and I engage H and drive, so now it's going at one time speed. And if I switch over to the other gear, you'll see it significantly speeds up. And then I crash. And 2,000 pieces. So we should turn on Invincible, ground this guy, and full speed. So now let's just take a look at how it handles. So when you start it up, if you press forward, it spins, and um, the big wheels are powered in this case. So the differential is actually more of just a power assist rather than a uh, power. But when you don't have the gear, uh, the clutch essentially engaged, uh, that being speed one or speed two, um, it won't go anywhere because the gear, it just, uh, the power from the wheels just gets transferred to the differential, which is not engaged. So the second you engage it with something, then it'll start being able to drive. Right? So you have to engage a gear. You can go reverse or fours with each gear. Now, unfortunately, the differential doesn't work as well as I would have liked in this use case, but it, it still does work and help with some hill assist and um, some what with the steering. So here we can see it's going at speed one, and then if I engage it to speed two, it goes just a little bit faster. Not a whole lot because it's not perfect, but it's a cool proof of concept nonetheless. Um, here, I'll show it doing a hill climb. So engage. So this is all. Uh, you should always do a hill climb in low gear, and uh, this is no different. Unfortunately, it can't quite make it up the hill if you take just that short of a run up at it. But if you get even just a little bit more of a run up, it will normally make it. But it didn't. Oh well, I think I've proven my point here. It was just a little cool, interesting thing, trying to make a vehicle that actually used a differential drive. Um, and in this case, I added the two-speed system. So I used a lot of pistons here just to stabilize, because these uh, gears really have to stay stable, otherwise they'll wobble and not um, really mesh properly. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And you can basically go from one, drive, one gear to the next really fast. So, yeah, thanks for watching.